What's up you guys, Idiot Fliptronics. I'm going to be going over the top 5 launchers to try for Android going into 2017. The first one I'm going to start it off with is called EV. I'm just going to let you guys know I've got the links in the descriptions for all of these. They're all really good launchers if you want to get, get away from TouchWiz. But um, let's check out this one. So this one's really cool. It's uh, very organized with how it keeps everything. It keeps your apps, widgets, and then you've got different settings which you can change within this launcher. I'll show you guys an example of what you can change. but uh, you can mess around with the home screen layout, so you can add different um, rows to the home screen. You can change the icon sizes, which is pretty cool, and then you can add different columns. There's also some other things you can do in here uh, as far as customizing this launcher. It's got different widgets, and then it keeps all your apps organized by alphabetical order. Like I said, this one's free. It's very simple to use, and it's very nice. The next one I'm going to show you guys is called Arrow Launcher. This one I really like, too. Um, keeps everything organized as far as your apps and then it keeps everything in different um, sections so you've got your recents documents reminders people um, you know pretty basic stuff you guys it also keeps the app drawer everything in alphabetical order like that um, this is another cool one you guys it's got some really cool wallpapers in it as well Nova Launcher I'm sure most of you are familiar with this one's been a popular one for the last few years uh, and it is really cool so I mean there's some different things you can do with this one um, currently I have the slide set on cubed so it makes that cool little slide uh, you know like that I mean it's just really cool so but there's also different settings in here you can change Nova Launcher has been really popular because there's a lot of different things you can customize with this um, I mean you can customize everything within this launcher I'll try and give you guys a couple uh, examples here so you can mess around with the icon sizes, you can add different colors to the text. There's lots of things you can do with Nova Launcher, which makes it another popular one. Uh, another really interesting, cool one is called Lens Launcher. Um, this one is, you know, super strange, but <clears throat> it's also pretty cool. So I'll show you guys what it looks like. It keeps everything organized like that, literally. And then when you tap your finger over, you know, anything within this launcher, it just makes it big. Um, it's a very interesting launcher. Uh, it's got some mixed reviews on it. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, it might be a little hard for some people, so it's just another option for you guys out there, but I mean, it's just really cool. I mean, you can customize some of it, but this is pretty much the layout of how everything's gonna look, so that's Lens. And then the last one I've got on here is called Apex Launcher. This one's very similar to Nova, uh, just a little bit different, but um, there's you know stuff you can change in here as far as you know the look and style of it. I would say that uh, the Apex, though, is very similar to Nova. If you don't like Nova, you could check this one out. But those are my top five, you guys. You've got Eevee, Arrow, Nova, Lens, and Apex. Like I said, I've got links in the description for all these. I would totally appreciate a like and a share on this video, you guys. And, um, you know, if you're using TouchWiz and you haven't really tried another launcher yet, you know, maybe check one of these out. They're all really good options. As always, you guys, stay tuned for more and be sure to subscribe to our channel.